Okay, on today's adventures of Serge and Dad, uh, we've got the kayaks in the back of the boat and we're going to our favorite fishing hole to try to um, catch a bass or a catfish and cook it, uh, clean and cook it right then and there. We bought a little pan, some lemon pepper, and uh, um, it's a fun thing that we love to do to go get in the kayaks, feel the freedom of being on the water and uh, going to our favorite little fishing spot and catching some fish. And uh, uh, I think I'm gonna catch one way before Serge does. Serge isn't gonna catch any fish. I'm gonna be the one catching them. Um, I, I don't think he's got the fishing skills that dad has, but maybe I'll pull the school bus up and uh, um, I'll, I'll take him to school on, on how to catch these fish today because uh, I am the fish man. I'm wearing my lucky fishing shirt. This is uh, the Big Kahuna Burger. Uh, shout out Tarantino and, and Pulp Fiction. Uh, this is my lucky fishing shirt. And uh, I think I'm gonna catch five, and Serge is gonna catch what? Like, like zero. Uh, uh, I might have to catch one for him. What do you think, Serge? Nah, we'll see what happens. Yeah, is that it? You see what happens? Yeah, I'll let my fishing do the talking. He's gonna let his fishing do the talking. Okay, we'll see. Okay, so we got Serge here. I'm tying the ropes, get the kayaks out so we can launch down there. That's our river, our fishing holes right on the other side over there. You got this gentleman here and he's uh, launching his boat now. Let's uh, see if we can get a little bit closer look at him. And uh, you see he's doing it by himself. He launched his boat. Now he's gonna end up pulling it back up this way and then um, pull his truck up and then he will uh, uh, get back in his boat. Pretty cool. So I'm, I'm gonna sit here and uh, watch Serge let him do all the work. And uh, uh, I'm the fishing guy. I'm the guy here to fish. So we'll let, we'll let Serge do all the fishing. And you see back here, the guy's now pulled his boat up and he's gonna, he's gonna park it right there for a second. And he's gonna end up pulling his truck back up here and parking it and coming back, getting back on his boat and he's gonna go fish. We are going to kayak, and uh, uh, Serge almost has all the uh, the ropes out. And look at this little fishing guy there. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. And uh, that's that. See, Serge got it. He can carry it. Sit him there. Ready to go. Nice, beautiful day. Beautiful sun. Here comes Serge ready to attack some bass okay i'm here uh, at the spot and we're about to launch uh the kayaks here we got them all set up ready to go uh sir just parked the truck up there um it is a beautiful day uh here in tennessee it's probably about 62 degrees uh the water is calm as hell uh where we're headed is over there um, that way, uh, I got a little fishing spot, um, that I used to catch the bass and some catfish over that way. Uh, we're waiting for Skyler. He's always taking his damn time, never hurrying up. Look at him over there, taking his time, trying to park the truck. Hey, Sky! Hey, we coming or we going? We comings, we going. We coming or we going? We going, we comings. I'm trying to do some fishings over here. I'm trying to do some fish. You trying to fish? Look, this is actually how, how nice it is out here. It's Serge. Serge is gonna come up wearing no t-shirts. He ain't gonna be allowed in no stores anywhere because he's not wearing no shirt. No shirt, no shoes, no service, baby. No shirt, no shoes, no service. You ready to fish? Hell yeah. You ready, Dad, to catch more fish than you? We'll see. Okay, it's on. We're about to launch. I'm gonna launch myself now, my kayak here. Now what I normally do 
is I'll push it up in the water a little bit, like so with my foot, and get it right there in the water, and I put it sideways, like that, because uh, it's actually easier to step into. So let me get it right up in here, and I'm just gonna step right in, just like that. And now that I'm in, I'll use my oar to kinda push myself. I surge back there. And I'm pushing myself. And uh, we are now water bound. And here we go. Come on, Serge, it's your turn. Hop on in, boy. Let's ride. Hey, Serge. What's up? Uh, you gonna have any dip? No, leave that there like that. I, I tied it in. <clears throat> Try not to get it wet, it's my hoodie. Let's see how Serge gets in. Nice and easy. Put it sideways. I'm gonna bust his ass. No? In. Nice and quick, nice and easy. There we go. So, now we're off to the spot. Yep. Let's ride. Man, Serge needs to catch up. He's always slacking. Hey, Serge, you need to catch up, man. I'm way over here. Dad's already beating you. Come on. I'm way over here. Come on, I'm already over here. Fuck. Man, this is hard. I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. Ha <laughs> ha, Serge. You can't beat me. I'm gonna win. Ha <laughs> ha. There's the finish line. That's the little fishing spot we go. Looks like I left Surge in the dust. He's back there. It looks like we got a win. Well, I left Surge in the dust, and here I am at the fishing spot. Here's the fishing hole there. I'm about to set up and start fishing now. It's on. We just got to the other side here. Uh, we're setting up our little kind of camp spot, and uh, I'm gonna get a little fire going right now here. I've uh, put some sticks and stuff together. I got this fire uh, starter thing here and uh, I'm gonna get it going. So all I'm really doing is getting this stuff, getting a piece, two pieces of it and throw it in there underneath. And just light it up. Now, once that stuff's lit, it'll just stay lit. Now, I'm just going to put it underneath these branches and let it go. Well, looks like we got a friend here. Oh, shit. Hello, dog. Hello, how are you? Who are you? Who are you guys? No callers? Looks like you the owner's coming up. Oh, hey. hey. We got some friends. Yeah. How's it going? Hey. Hello, you friendly? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see how my dog's on me. <laughs> well, you look a bit old. How's it going? Good, good. I'm gonna try to catch some bass right now. Ah, okay. Get a little fire going. There's uh, some hunters. I heard some shotgun. Now shot. this is all free land here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, if there I were people wanted. hunting, yep. Yeah, I'm sorry. If there were people hunting out here, would they be like right here? Their boat is right around the bend. <laughs> and they're probably duck hunting, right? Yeah. Hunting ducks. Yeah. No, I've heard, I've been out here before, uh, I've heard gunshots. Yeah. And I heard that there were, and this was free land, it oh, was it, army. It's, it's all wildlife management. All wildlife yeah. management. So, yeah. this is us for us taxpayers to come and shoot, Absolutely fish, right. <laughs> and bring your dogs. Yeah. What's your name? Oh, Richard. I'm John. How's it going, Richard? Hey. Skyler. Skyler, my son. Oh, cool. 
And we're well, kind of doing a little video. A canoes a lot out here, and he said he was over there, almost across from us, maybe halfway. And he said he heard some shots, and then he heard some splashes. <laughs> Ah, so the ducks hit. <laughs> Out there close to, to where he was canoeing, he said, yeah, maybe I'll canoe somewhere else for a little while. <laughs> well, I'll definitely be on alert if I... Uh, yeah, um, I mean, every every hunter I've run across been, you know, the nicest guys in the world. You know, sometimes they, they just don't think about it. Yeah, and get a little close to people fishing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll definitely look out for them. I'm not guys, hunting. I'm trying to fish. have a good day, man. Yeah, you it's too. It's a good beautiful day, day. day. Beautiful afternoon. Yeah. Perfect yeah. November 1st. Yeah. Perfect yeah. November 1st. <laughs> now, if y'all guys see, I have uh, my fires now starting to build up a little bit. So I'll kind of move these twigs over here on top of that. And that'll just actually sit here and just burn until this starts going and uh, I'll get a few more little I got this whole thing of it here but I'll, I got this little piece and I'm just gonna throw a few more of those on there to make sure this keeps going and uh, I'll kind of gather up a new few more twigs here and there uh, it is a little wet but as long as I get these kind of dry ones off the top I've just put that right here on top of the fire and uh, this will start to go uh, pretty good. And I'll leave this one over here. So now fire's going. Now it's time to fish. Cool meeting that guy right there. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like we got our fire going pretty good now. So that's a, that's a positive surge. So you ready to fish now? Oh yeah. You can make that first cast and catch one? Yep. Okay. You call it, looks like some buzzards up there, some dead stuff. But uh, let's see. Which one you want? Uh, uh, you can take the, the big green one. Yeah. So you can catch one off that first. Just remember to uh, keep the, uh, keep the it moving fast. No, I want to use the other, the worm. You want to use a the worm, then use the other one. It's already got a worm on it. Okay. No, that green one, remember? I don't know if I have a green one left. Damn. We just try that one right there. Right. Just take it off. And that's actually a really easy, uh, you kind of got to. Now, I'm telling you, I would go over there. That's where all the fish have been caught. I would stand right here and cast right that way. And kind of give it, give it a good throw because it's small. I do have a weight on it and just reel it in kind of quick. Keep the line tight. Oh, it's all moving over that way to the left. Feel anything? Not yet. Not yet? See a movement. See a movement all right there. There's a movement in the water. Oh, almost. But I'm saying you got it really quick so that way you don't catch rocks. And the, the quicker you reel it, the more you'll actually have it look like a, a worm moving in the water. But so far, all we've caught was rocks. Uh, um, I messed my line up catching a rock and Skyler had to redo his line there, but we're re-putting lures back on, uh, trying a different uh, a thing. But if you turn around and you look here across and how beautiful it is over there, uh, the, autumn, the autumn colors on the trees over there are so beautiful. I'm gonna uh, flip around and show y'all how pretty that is over there. See all the fall autumn colors in the trees right on the river. So beautiful. I love it here in Tennessee. It's so beautiful right now. The weather is literally perfect. Skylar doesn't even have a shirt on. He's sitting here doing up the hooks. We got our fire. We're ready to catch a fish. As soon as we catch one, we got the pan right there with some lemon pepper and one fork. 
you see the fire is going now and uh now we just need to catch a fish i literally didn't eat anything today before we came out here and uh i'm starving and we said we're only going to eat if we actually catch a fish so i need to catch a fish because i am hungry i'm hungry as a mug right now and uh um, i don't know if you know how hungry a mug is but a mug is hungry as a mug and uh I'm starving. I need to catch a fish. And I think I'm going to catch one right over there. That's where I'm going to catch one. Another thing we love to do in America is shoot guns. We love our guns. Got this little SIG 9mm. And uh, I haven't shot it very many times. Let's see how it shoots. Pretty damn good. I like that. I love America. Freedom. Get you some. Okay, I'm gonna walk up the riverbank here. Look at the beautiful clouds in the sky. So beautiful right now in Tennessee. I'm gonna go up these rocks here and see if I can uh, find a better spot to uh, cast out. Now I've caught many fish right here in this area and bass catfish uh little perch all them and uh i want to go right over there so i got to go through there let's see how this works um i got to get over there gotta walk through there uh, we don't want no water moccasins cotton mouths out here it's kind of a little cold right now to get those but they might be out trying to catch a little sun so I have to watch my steps but I am wearing steel toe boots uh, just in case but this is where I spot I wanted right here this is prime location walk right out there that's where we're gonna catch a fish I'm telling you okay so I've came all the way our camps over there and I walked all the way around and I found this cool cove that I could walk up this trail of rocks that are exposed now normally when I was out here fishing a few months ago all this would have been covered in water but right now they lower these rivers uh, the state actually does and uh, every year around winter time uh, for a bunch of different reasons but I've caught a bunch of fish right here and I've caught a bunch of fish right there but i've never been able actually to come all the way out into the river this far on foot without the kayak and uh i'm actually thinking i'm gonna catch a fish right here and i'm gonna catch a fish right there and uh surge is all the way down there hey surge hey you good surge is good there he is right there and uh the kayaks are there. I've walked over here. Uh, just a bunch of fun. Uh, if I catch something, if I don't, I'm having fun just being in nature and uh, uh, trying to catch a fish. I'm really hungry. And I'm still amazed by the autumn trees over there on the shoreline. And uh, uh, beautiful America. I love America. It's so beautiful. And uh, I have this freedom here to just do this. This is public American land. Any American, big fish just jumped right there. Any American can come here, shoot guns, fish, camp, make a fire, hang out. This is American land for Americans. Uh, uh, and uh, um, all I have to say is let's go Brandon. Let's go Brandon. Let's go Brandon. Let's go Brandon. Skyler said he's gonna get one. He goes. Let's see if he does. Well, it's beautiful out here. It looks great. We didn't catch a single fish. I'm starving. Skylar's still over there trying to get one way back there if you can see him. I don't know if you can see him, but he's trying to get your fish. Uh, a little cold, so no fish today. See that? It's cold. I got the fire going. Uh, we may or may not camp out for the night to make sure we can get one in the morning. Um, I'm starving. I haven't eaten. 
um, I want to fish. I see them jumping. If you go right here, if I were to show that for a little bit, you'd see them out there all jumping in the water, but they don't want to come my way. And uh, I'm starving right now and I'm, uh, I'm hungry. Well, we've been out here for a few hours. It's getting dark and cold. It's probably dropped down to about 50 degrees now. Uh, Skylar's still over there trying to fish, but uh, I think we're going to uh, make this a two-part video and we're gonna camp out. We got a few spots here that we can lay up and sleep. So I think we're gonna go to bed for the night and uh, we got a nice fire here going and uh, um, I need to catch a fish tomorrow because I'm starving. I I'm really, really hungry and uh, there's been no, uh, no fish today. Uh, that's the thing about fishing. You're not always going to catch one. Uh, uh, but unless you got your fishing pole out there, uh, you never know if you're going to get one. And, uh, I'm going to put this fire down and, uh, put up a little tent and, uh, we'll see y'all tomorrow. And that was part one. And, uh, part two comes tomorrow. Serge was late night fishing out there. Uh, he got really cold, so he wanted to be by the fire. And, uh, how'd that go, Serge? I didn't even get one bite. Not one bite? Not one bite. And you're cold? Yeah, a little bit. So we're going to camp out tonight and wake up tomorrow and do it all over again? Yeah, I'm down. Okay, so we're going to camp out. we got the fire here. We're going to wake up in the morning and uh, do it all over again. Uh, it's cold now. Okay, what just happened, I tried to get in the kayak. I put my phone in my hoodie pocket and it fell into the water. Luckily, I had a screensaver on my phone and it saved my ass, but now I am cold as hell. I'm covered in water and uh, probably gonna have to do this trip back tomorrow because I need to go home and uh, warm up because I, I'm covered in water. No way I can stay out here tonight. So covered in water, coming home. Save my phone though. This phone dropped in this river, and I had to like reach down, like it was in the it was in the water for about a minute, and I saved it, and I'm still recording, and uh, we saved it. Okay, I'm in the truck, and uh, what ended up happening was um, I was going to uh, meet with Serge, and I put my cell phone in my hoodie pocket down here. And uh, as I was getting in the kayak, um, my cell phone fell to the bottom of the river. And there I go jumping in the river. It's cold as hell uh, to find my cell phone. I jump in once, I can't find it. Then I jump in again and I pull my cell phone up out of the water, out of the depths. And it worked. And that's how I'm still talking to you now. So mad props to Apple. I dropped my phone in the river I wish I would have had that on film, but I didn't, but I'll tell you about it. And uh, I legit, um, standing there on the corner where you saw me, uh, uh, um, I dropped my phone in the river. And now it still works. So, uh, uh, hey Apple, uh, props, uh, give me a new iPhone. How about that? Okay, we're at the gas station now. Um, I'm wet, my hoodie back there, covered in water. I have no shoes on because uh, I had a dive in the river. I'm really cold, but I'm still hungry. So I'm gonna go in the gas station here with uh, no shoes, I'm wet, I'm cold, I wanna go home, but uh, I still need something to eat. So here I come. Uh, look at the donuts. Uh, look at the wet trail behind me. I brought that in. I did that. That's how wet I am. That's from the river. Uh, I could use some donuts. Um, here, I think I'm gonna get some donuts for sure because why not? Now I'm gonna get a few donuts here. Let's see what I'm gonna get.
fuck. Not that one. I will get one, two, three. Then I'll get some of these pink ones. One, two, three. Three pink donuts. And uh, see that? Now look at my wetness that I've left from the river. Oh, yikes. 